Welcome to this introduction video about travel and tourism within the sixth form at the North School. There are two courses that we offer. One is the BTEC Level 1, Level 2 First Award in Travel and Tourism. And the second is the Level 3 Extended Certificate in Travel and Tourism. Now you may be asking yourself, why is it a, sub a subject that I would like to study? First of all, it's one of the largest sectors of employment within the UK. Studying this course enables students to gain a variety of skills that would help them develop to work in towards the travel and tourism industry, as well as the hospitality and catering industry. This could include jobs both within the UK or even abroad. Students will need to understand a variety of different aspects relating to geography and locations of certain destinations. They will also learn and develop skills relating to planning and devising holiday plans and also how the sectors work in order to help raise uh, the country's GDP, which is the gross domestic product. Within the courses, our level two course requires you to study four different units. Three of the units are mandatory and one of the units is an optional task and we opt for unit four. As you can see, we have an external unit which is exam based. We have two internal units and then an internal synoptic, which is a combination of coursework and an exam. You can see the four titles that you will be covering, which enables the students to gain a broad range of knowledge relating to travel and tourism as part of their introductory course. Should you wish to study level three, there are five units on offer of which you will cover four of them. The first three are mandatory for the extended certificate. We have the world of travel and tourism, which is a step up from the UK travel and tourism sector of level two. We have global destinations and the principles of marketing in travel and tourism. There are two optional units of which we only need to complete one at level three, and we have opted for unit nine visitor attractions. In terms of your weekly schedule, if you are attending the level two qualification, you will have four one hour periods a week. And within these lessons, you will do basic tasks, complete work, um, maybe involved in some question and answers. And there is occasionally times where you may have to revise for an assessment or complete coursework. Within our level three course, you have an additional hour within the week to complete five one hour periods. Um, you may have to complete extended work within this time um, relating to the content of the course. You have to complete tasks um, that include extended writing and you have to be involved in verbal class discussions. There will also be an element relating to assignment briefs and revision for class assessments and we use a PLC which is a personalised learning checklist to help ensure students remain on track and achieve the best possible grade. In terms of assessment there is a slight difference between the two courses. Our level two course requires students to complete a one hour and 15 minute exam for unit one, and this is out of 60 marks. There is also one synoptic assessment. This is a combination of coursework and an, uh, an exam, and it covers elements from the other units within this one piece of work. You also have two units of coursework. These relate to maps of the UK and a map of Europe. Um, you have to state the main transport hubs, the main attractions, the capital cities, um, and it relates to creating a holiday plan uh, and schedule as if you were a travel agent. Our level three course requires students to complete a one and a half hour exam, and this is marked out of 75 marks. Again, there is one subnautic assessment this synoptic assessment requires students to complete six hours of research around a topic and then they can take that research into a three hour exam to complete extended writing tasks. The remaining two units are coursework. One is on marketing products and services and the second is relating to research of visitor attractions uh, and a project based assignment. In order for students to achieve the highest possible grade, they will also be required to complete additional work and content. 
This takes place in private study where students will be required to complete tasks in the sixth form centre. And these tasks are uh, presented on a product called Show My Homework. And it's a web page that lists all of the homework that teachers set for the students. They will also be required to complete revision and coursework. And again, this can take place within private study or at home as part of their homework. All of the resources Will be available to students on our student google drive platform which enables students to complete work independently now what are the entry requirements we obviously understand that gcse's can be a challenging uh, part of school life for many students so we understand that occasionally some students may need the additional year completing level two based courses to provide them the stepping stone to work towards level three our level two requires students to have a good attendance to school, a positive attitude and the willingness to learn and overcome any educational barriers that they may have. With regards to our level three course, students are required to achieve five level fours and above, and this includes English and maths. Now, I'm sure there are a variety of different questions that you may have, but here are some questions that we generally get each year that may help you uh, understand some aspects. The level two qualification is the equivalent of one GCSE and our level three qualification is equivalent to one A level. Um, can you do level two and then move on to level three? Yes, our level two course is an excellent stepping stone for any student wishing to step onto level three in the pursuit of a career within the travel and tourism industry. And um, it's important that you understand that level two needs to be passed in the first place and any maths or English resets are also completed and passed. Uh, we also have some students that wish to go on to university after completing their level three travel and tourism course. This is also possible. Um, you just need to be aware that each university in each course requires a different number of UCAS points depending on the student's grade uh, at level three and where they wish to attend um, can have an impact but we have had students in the past leave uh, level three courses within the north school sixth form to attend university if you have any more questions or you would like any more information please don't hesitate to contact me my email address is at the bottom of the screen thanks very much for your time